man, I take this too. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Cesar and I hope everybody is doing okay. I was just going to restrain my 2015 Les Paul but I was having, you know, this tune on my brains, the Trooper, Iron Maiden. And then I said, okay, let's shoot for the solo. It's totally unrehearsed. I hope you have enjoyed. I love playing that song. But anyway, this brings to my mind something that I wanted to share with you for a while. I've been watching videos in YouTube with the controversy about Gibson and everything that is going on in that company. I'm not going to go and judge the management of the company and talk about their financial statements. I'm going to talk about their products. Well, and I know that there's going to be a lot of people who are going to disagree with me. Fine. Disagreement with respect, respectful disagreement is always welcome. You know that I have a collection, a sizable collection of guitars, basically because I love guitars, I love playing guitars, and because in some period of my life I was recording for many people and I had to have different types of guitar for different types of music. You know, I play all styles, though I graduated in classical guitar at the Royal Conservatory of Music. But anyway, the point here is that um, among all my guitars, if you follow my channel, you will see that I gravitate mostly uh, across three brands. PRS, by the way, I'm going to show you something very interesting in one of my next videos. PRS, I said, Gibson and Yamaha, right? Uh, I have my 1820, which is a jewel, right? My Yamaha 1820. So those are the three brands that I gravitate and I play the most. I have Stratocasters, Telecasters, uh, Carvins, etc. But those three brands are the ones that I really enjoy the most playing. Particularly speaking, my best playing guitars are my PRS 594, my McCarthy, and this one. My Gibson 2015 Les Paul Standard SR was a spring run model. I mean, there, there were only a few made because it has all the classical features of the Gibson, like what they did in 2017, but with the uh, coil split, etc, etc, etc. Well, now, let me tell you something. This guitar is a fantastic playing guitar. There are many people on the internet kind of criticizing the 2015 models. They are horrible, the headstock. Let me just zoom, zoom it for you, right? The logo on the headstock is horrible, right? And the guitar is not, never stays in tune. Well, listen guys, I mean, this guitar stays in tune perfectly. It came with a Grover locking tuners, right? I get the lowest action of all my guitars in this guitar, right? And you have heard the tone in many of my covers. It's a killer tone. The Bars Backers Pro, I love them. Uh, and yes, I had to change the nut, you remember, probably. Let me zoom it for you. You remember that it was coming with this brass nut and it got a lot of groove, a lot of grooves underneath the strings. So I put this adjustable uh, task nut, which is fantastic. And as I told you, eh, I get the lowest action of all my guitars and I have very, very high end guitars here on my back. I guess that what I wanted to say is the people who are criticizing these models probably don't know even how to play. I have watched a guy, particularly speaking, that hardly plays a pentatonic and has a video, you know, kind of totally smashing the 2015 model. Anyway, opinions are like heads. Everybody has one. I wanted to share with you that this, after three years, is one of my best playing guitars, a fantastic instrument, and I challenge all of you to come here and to try and you will see what I'm saying is true. I'm going to restring it now because the strings are, are old. I've been playing a lot and I'm going to put normal Diadario XL, right? Because, well, as I told you, I don't find a lot of difference in uh, the different strings, especially when you play with high gain. Well, this is one. So the second one is that I'm extremely happy because after several years shooting with my camera, 
and have found the way of shooting in 1080 and the video is going to be 1080 uh, with the GoPro by default it gets 1080 but in this one I knew it could but I was shooting 720 and I have found the way of shooting at uh, 1080 so I hope you may perceive the difference the contest well I mean there have been a couple of subscribers that have chosen the same number I've got in touch with both of them but only one has answered so I will give a week to the second uh, to the second one he didn't give me any email anything to get in touch with him I have sent him a message a message and a comment in YouTube because I don't have a way of sending him even a PM and uh, if after a week he does not answer then the winner will be the one who has answered my email and he will receive the fantastic Zoom H5 the recorder that is like brand new right well uh, another thing I mean I'm here for one year in the US and I have to tell you that I love this place I love this country I love Miami too of course but uh, I think I have found my place right this is a fantastic country please take care of America ah and subscribe please I mean we are already uh, well past the 10,000 I'm gonna think about the contest for the 20,000 right but during the last days I think because I have been really very busy the rate of new subscribers has fallen a little bit so please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell if you want to be uh, basically alerted of my new videos right as I said please play your guitars have fun and be good bye